How's it going boys? Johnny Superb Man here and this is the video that I told you guys was coming out where I'm going to show you guys which rookies I edit for the upcoming GM mode commentary. This way you guys can go to the same teams and edit these players for your own GM modes, alright? There are players in the first year of drafting and in the second year of drafting. So let's not waste any time and get right to it. Okay, so first up we're going to do the 2013 draft, okay? Two years into your GM mode. First, Ryan Pulock, or Pulock. He plays for the Brandon Wheat Kings in the WHL, so that's where you can find him, okay? So go in, in there, and remember, this is two years in. This is not the upcoming draft that's up this year. This is two years in, 2013. Don't know much, too much about these guys. I set them to offensive D-man. The height and weight is very accurate, but other than that, I couldn't find too much on these guys, all right? So I made this guy an A, A-, minus, A-, minus. but for the second draft year, I didn't touch any of their other stats. Nothing else. Just give them good potential, and two years in, they should be good. Remember, they're going to get better with those two years. Next up is Hunter Shinkaruk. He plays in the WHL for the Medicine Hat Tigers. That's where you can find this player, okay? So we go in. We want to edit this guy. Remember, this is still the 2013 draft. We're going to look at him. He's a center, okay? Again, his height and weight is accurate. I made him a two-way forward, all right? want to spread it out a little bit because he's 5'10". I wanted him to be a two-way forward. So there you go. I only touched the potential. A minus, A, A minus, his 64 overall. Don't worry about that. In two years with that potential, he will be up to an 80. We don't want, to, we don't want them any higher than that. So that's perfect. Next, we have Sean Manahan. He plays in the OHL for the Ottawa 67s. That's where you guys can find this player, okay? Just keep looking at the top left or top right. Pause it where you need to. It's very easy to find these teams. We go down. This guy is the center as well. But I made him a power forward because he's a bit bigger. 6'2", 180. So I made this guy a power forward, okay? We go over to his stats. All I touched was offensive growth, defensive growth, A-, minus, and athletic growth, B. He's still only a 64. So remember, two years in, he'll be good. Nice power forward. Now last but certainly not least, Nathan McKinnon. He plays in the QMJHL for the Halifax Mooseheads. This is the last player in the 2013 draft, okay? But this guy, he's the number one ranking so far. So we're going to give this guy some good stats here. He's a right wing or left wing. I, it, it, he can change a lot by then. 5'10", 168. I made him a playmaker, okay? Now if we go over to his stats, again, I didn't change any of his individual stats, but I gave him an A for offensive growth, B for defensive, but then A for athletic. So this guy's going to be the best. Probably the first overall in the 2013 draft. All right, so now we're going to cover the 2012 draft, the first draft that comes up in via GM mode. This guy, Mikhail Grigorenko, he plays in the QMJHL for the Quebec Ramparts, okay? Again, I don't know too much about these guys either. I tried to do the best of what the internet, the scouting profile told me. This guy's big, 6'2", 183, so I gave him a power forward, okay? I want to spread it out. This guy's a big guy from Russia. We're going to make him a power forward, all right? And we go, and for these players, I did edit everything. A-, minus, B-, minus, A- minus for potential. But then look, because he's a big power forward, athletically and um, and defensively, he is strong. Everything else, you don't want to get anything too far up there. Look at the stats. I'm not going to read out every single one, right? But I thought power forward-wise. So everything, 75, but then his power ratings, like his strength, his shot power, that should be an 80, 82, okay? So when you're making your rookies, you can make it your own, but don't go above 85 for any category, all right? Up next, we got Alex Galchenyuk, and I probably butchered that guy's name, but he plays in the OHL for the Sarnia Sting, all right? So this time, I think this guy was a playmaker. So the other player was a power forward, and this time we have a playmaker, okay? So this guy's a center, yep, playmaker, and the 2012 draft is pretty accurate. It's a lot easier to see who the uh, top prospects are going to be, so it was easy to uh, edit these guys, all right? I got to look at their stats. Um, for his potential, A minus, A minus, B. His overall is going to be 74. Remember how I said I want them to be in the 80s? Well, you got to think, they're going to have one year of simulation. So if they have one year of simulation at an A minus, A minus, B, and then 74 overall, by next time, uh, by next year when he's drafted, he might get up to an 80. He might be high 70s. So that's perfect for him, okay? This guy's going to be in the top five. And there's pretty much everything. Go back. Nothing's above 80. 75's everywhere. So he will develop, all right? We got a defenseman up next in Morgan Riley. He plays in the WHL for the Moose Jaw Warriors, okay? This draft actually had a few defensemen. This is our first one up. 
And this guy, I believe, what? Yes, okay, offensive defenseman. So this guy was the offensive defenseman. You'll see in a, in a second, our other defenseman is the d defensive defenseman. This guy's the offensive defenseman. So I gave him the A minus and B, B, okay? I also got, he has the uh, 77 overall, so he's getting up there. But he has more uh, offensively gifted, like his uh, his accuracy, his shot power, his uh, passing, his deking, okay? But when you go down to defensive awareness and offensive awareness, it's uh, more heavily in the offensive category. So this is strictly the offensive defenseman for the 2012 draft. Next, we have Malcolm Subban. He's in the OHL for the Belleville Bulls, okay? Now, this guy wasn't in the top 10 for rankings, but I wanted a goalie. I didn't make him outstanding, okay, but he's the highest-ranked goaltender, and he's, he's P.K. Subban's brother. So A-, minus, B, B for potential, and pretty much everything is hovering around 75. Some 74, some 76, but everything's around 75. Matthew Dumba plays in the WHL for the Red Deer Rebels, and this was the other defensive defenseman that I was talking about. We had the offensive defenseman before, and now this is the defensive defenseman, or the two-way defender, sorry. But he is more heavily uh, rated in the uh, defensive category. That's the way I made it. Height, weight, that's all uh, That's all accurate. And there you go. B for offensive growth, but A- minus for defensive growth, B for athleticism. And look, body checking, 75, all right? Uh, the passing and puck control is all at 75s, but he's strong. His power, his strength, all up there at 80, all right? He's uh, good athletically as well. So, yeah, he's more of a two-way defenseman. Sorry. He has the athletics and the defensive uh, category. And his defensive awareness, higher than his offensive awareness. So, there's the defensive or two-way defender. And the other guy was the offensive defenseman. And finally, we have Nail Yakupov, who plays in the OHL for the Sarnia Sting. This guy is officially ranked number one. Right now, it may change, but he's ranked number one. So, I made this guy pretty good. He was great for us on New Jersey, but I wanted to change a little bit about him right here. I don't think he's a playmaker. I think I wanted to put him more of a sniper, okay? He's 5'11", 183, so I changed that as well. But he's a sniper now. He's not a playmaker, okay? If we go to his stats as well, I'll show you guys exactly what I did. wanted to make this guy a fast sniper. So offensive growth A, defensive growth B, athletic A-, minus. so he's going to get fast. But he's only 76 overall. But I'm guessing in one year with that potential, he'll get to at least an 80, 81, you know what I mean? So his speed is up there, agility is up there. He's got a solid wrist shot. Um, and then everything else is around uh, 84, offensively 84. The de defensive category, I didn't want to put up there very high. That's what that's his weakness, okay? He's a sniper. He's a young sniper. He can get goals, but he's weak defensively. So 76 overall with an A, uh, B, and then A, A- minus for potential. I think that's a good Nail Yakupov. So the two-year drafts, you got Nail Yakupov and then Nathan McKinnon. So those are the two top prospects in those two years. But we also have an another eight prospects that I edited for a total of 10. So there's 10 rookies, boys, that are going to come up in the first two years of drafts that you can add to your own GMs, and we're going to see them come up in our GM mode commentary for year three. So it should be interesting now. Now maybe I should do my fair share of scouting, right? So let me know what you guys think. Maybe for the future I'll edit some more players, but let me know what you guys think. Maybe you, you guys know who these players are and how they actually play in real life. So let me know if I did a good job, all right? Take it easy, boys, and I hope this helped you guys out.